How front-loaded vacation days work. As part of the new contract between the Brandywine School District and Local 218, employees' vacation days are now front-loaded. The following slides are intended to provide an overview of how vacation days are earned and how front-loading works. Let's take a look at an example in the old way of building up vacation days. Let's pretend I'm a third-year custodian and as such, I'm entitled to 16 days of vacation over the course of the fiscal year. I don't have any carryover vacation days from the previous year. I'm hoping to take a six-day vacation, and I'd like to take that vacation in August when I've got family coming to visit. July 1st is a critical date because July 1st is the beginning of the fiscal year. Under the old method, employees had zero days of vacation available for use. Nothing in the vacation bank. To build up days in order to use them, an employee had to work an entire month. In this case, if I worked all of July, I would earn one twelfth of my vacation days. One twelfth of the 16 days that I have coming to me as a three-year custodian comes out to about 1.3 days. So after working all of July, I can bank 1.3 vacation days. In order to get more days in the bank, I would have to work all of August. At the end of August, I would again earn another 12th of my vacation days 1.3 vacation days from July, 1.3 vacation days from August would give me 2.6 vacation days at the end of August that I could have in the bank for use. So how long would it take me to earn six vacation days under the old model? Well, I'd have to work all of September, October, and November. Five months, each earning 1.3 days, finally gives me six and a half days of vacation. With the new model, front-loading vacation days, July 1st is again a critical date because that's when the fiscal year begins. On July 1st, the district credits the employee with all the vacation days he or she would earn for the entire year and makes them available for use immediately. This credit of days assumes that the employee will work all 12 months, eventually earning all 16 days. Going back to our example, in the old way of earning vacation days, there was no way I could take six days off until December. With the front-loading model, I could take six days in July, if approved. Few things to remember. You can't use what you don't have. When you've used up your vacation days, they're gone. What happens if I use all 16 days between July 1st and March 1st, and then retire on April 1st? Quite simply, you use days off that you had not earned. They were being credited to you in good faith. In such cases, the dollar value of the days used and not yet earned must be recouped by the state. The balance due will be withheld from your final paycheck. If the balance owed exceeds the amount of the final paycheck, the state will pursue legal action for restitution. Can employees still carry vacation days forward from the previous year? 12-month employees can carry up to 42 days of vacation forward each year. Days in excess of 42 are forfeited. And finally, just a quick reminder. All vacations are subject to approval by the supervisor of facilities, or designee, who may delay or modify such requests based upon the operational need of the district.